What's up guys, John Rose 26.2 here. A little bit different format for today's video. I'm doing it on special request. So we're talking about plantar fasciitis today. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what is it? How do you know if you have it? And what do you do about it when you do have it? A little bit different format for today. First off, I'm gonna need some props. Okay, now what is the plantar fascia? So the plantar fascia is located on the sole of your foot, right underneath the skin. Um, it connects from your toes all the way down to your heel. As it gets closer to your toes, it splits up into five different sections. All right, five, one for each toe, basically. And closer to your heel, it has three sections as the central right in the middle, the medial on the inside, and the lateral on the outside. The central part of the plantar fascia is the most important part in that it's connected to your medial calcaneus, which is just a fancy word for your heel bone. So the central part is connected to your heel bone, um, and that is typically where people feel the pain when they have plantar fasciitis. The other two parts, the medial inside of the foot connected to the big toe, the lateral part is connected to your pinky toe. So something else to think about is that it is connected to your Achilles tendon as well, all right? Which is right here on the back of your, back of your uh, foot or leg. And then that is connected all the way up your calf. So if you picture this whole system together, it's connected from your toes down the bottom of your foot, up your heel, all the way up your calf. So, you can realize how, you know, this, this whole system can be a little bit uh, problematic at times and then you can see why this is uh, an area where a lot of athletes get injured. So, how do you know if you have plantar fasciitis is the question now. So, the main, the main sign, as I said, is pain just right on the heel, right on that, that heel bone, right where it's adhered to the heel bone. That's the most common symptom. Um, other pain could be sort of up the Achilles. So the plantar fascia, most of the tension is when you toe off. Okay, and the toe off is basically <clears throat> when your heel comes up. So as I'm stepping, when my heel comes off the ground, that's when all of the tension is being put on the plantar fascia and that's when a lot of pain can be felt as well. So those are two uh, pretty big signs that you have plantar fasciitis. Um, usually the pain is a little bit more intense in the morning and that is because overnight the plantar fascia tightens. So it, if you're feeling a little bit more sharp pain in the morning that will loosen through the day and then it comes back a little bit next morning, that's another sign of plantar fasciitis. All right, so now we've gone over what the plantar fascia is, how to tell you if you have plantar fasciitis, so now what do you do about it? Step one, before you do anything else, you have to, you have to get rid of that inflammation. Any kind of exercise that you do with that inflammation, it can, can exacerbate the issue, so you wanna get rid of that inflammation ASAP. All right, so the, the main way to do that is through ice, massage, and then stretching, in that order. So first off, icing. Um, most common way to do that is just stepping and basically getting your foot straight on top of an ice pack. Um, make sure you put a towel in between. Obviously, you don't want to burn the skin. Another, uh, in my opinion, more effective way but less popular way is to uh, fill a bucket with some water, put a little bit of ice in there, and you can just stick your foot in there. Um, it will be a little more uncomfortable, but uh, like I said, I do feel like that method is a little bit more effective if you really want to uh, speed up the, the recovery process. All right, so the next step is going to be massage. And these guys are gonna be your best friends. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. Okay, so all you need to do, just set that water bottle down, and this is it. Just roll your foot on it, back and forth. You can do it with a sock if you want, you can do it barefoot if you want. Um, 
I'd advise being careful doing it barefoot just so you don't get any ice burns, but massaging it and icing it at the same time is very effective. Super easy way to do it. The bottle is a perfect shape as well to uh, be able to roll out the bottom of your foot. Um, by far my favorite way to treat plantar fasciitis or just sore feet in general. Highly recommend it. Now let's move on to the lacrosse ball. So, um, the lacrosse ball I do like, I don't like it as much as the water bottle just because it's, uh, it's, you can't multitask with it, you can't ice and massage at the same time, but the fact that it is a more compact does mean that you can get deeper with your massage and more uh, focused in on a specific area if you have a problem area on that plantar fascia that you want to target. This is your, this is your go-to. So with the ball, pretty simple. If you, uh, I mean, you can probably imagine how we're gonna use this. Gonna set it on the ground, set your foot on top, and just roll back and forth. Pretty simple with the massage ball, you know. Easy to do, you can do it while you're watching TV, while you're eating dinner, um, very simple move there. Once you have the inflammation under control, you can move on to some stretching. Basically what the stretching looks like, as I showed you, the uh, Achilles tendon is right on the bottom of your foot, so all you want to do is pull those toes back. I like to put my foot up on the wall. You can feel that stretch right, right in there. All right, you just wanna do this nice and slowly till you feel the stretch, and then to sit for about 10 to 20 seconds. You'll repeat that. You can repeat that, you know, two to four times, just till you're feeling nice and stretched out. Another facet of recovery that I don't feel like gets talked about enough is nutrition. First things first, you're looking for foods that reduce inflammation. Um, my go-to foods for reducing inflammation are blueberries and pineapple. Um, easy to get, you can put them in a smoothie. Very, uh, very quick, quick and easy, that's, that's my go-to. Anything quick and easy is my favorite. So blueberries, pineapple, great for reducing inflammation. Also, turmeric, the spice. Um, is very good at reducing inflammation. I like to put that on my eggs. Um, and that is an anti-inflammatory as well. Um, an interesting thing about plantar fasciitis specifically is that magnesium is actually very effective in treating it. And the, the reason for that is that magnesium helps relax your, uh, your plantar fascia. So as it gets, as it gets overused, based on any imbalances you may have in your muscles, that plantar fascia will tighten more and more, and especially overnight it'll tighten, um, which is detrimental to, uh, to its recovery. It really slows down recovery if it's spending all night tight. So magnesium helps loosen it. Some easy foods that you can eat with magnesium, you can eat tofu, avocados, almonds. I know a lot of people's favorite is gonna be dark chocolate and uh, that's, that's definitely my favorite. It has magnesium in it. Um, it'll help relax your plantar fascia so it can just chill out at night. Not gonna be as tense in the morning. So, we went over uh, how to tell if you have plantar fasciitis, what to do to get rid of that pain, and this is the point where most people stop. Um, but there is one more step to do and that is basically solving the issue that caused it. So you can continue to ice it when it, when it gets painful, um, but eventually you're gonna have to address what, what, what caused it, okay? And uh, there could be many, many uh, contributors to plantar fasciitis. So we'll go over just a quick overview of what to do once you have your plantar fasciitis under control, um, which means if you're doing these exercises and you feel pain, back off of those exercises, don't do them yet, you're not quite ready, and continue on the steps that I've, that I've already elaborated on earlier. The first exercise that you can do for plantar fasciitis is heel raises. Very simple exercise. So with those heel raises, you just wanna get your heels up off the ground. 
Good idea to start just with both feet, just lifting up off the ground just like that. And that is it, that's the move. Eventually you can progress to doing it one leg at a time like that if you would like. One foot up at a time and the, this is good because it strengthens the foot and also the calf. So it strengthens your foot down here, the uh, your arch, and then also your calf. So, like I said before, um, the calf, weak calves could also contribute to plantar fasciitis. Um, it's not always the arch, so this kind of, uh, it just works both of them. Very good move to do. Works both the arch and the calf. Perfect move to do if you have plantar fasciitis. Doing about three sets of 10 repetitions um, is more than enough. All right, and the final one, the next move, is going to be just focused on your foot, on strengthening your foot. So we're gonna use a washcloth here. Gonna go ahead and set it down. And all you do, take your foot and just try to pull the washcloth towards you. And this doesn't work because this is too grippy. So with this move, all you're doing is with your heel set to the ground, you cannot move your heel. You set the washcloth out and with your toe, just pull that washcloth in all the way in until it's touching your heel. All right, and that's it. Then you can set it back out, do it again. And that is good for anywhere from three to five times, pulling that washcloth all the way in. And this will strengthen that arch on your foot, taking the stress off your plantar fascia. That is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you can use that. I know it is a little bit different. We're gonna be back to our regularly scheduled videos tomorrow. Um, just something a little bit new. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you loved it. Let me know if you hated it. Let me know if you have a special request of some type of video that I might be able to do in the future. This is John Runs 26.2. I'm out.